And Fox One. Oh, buddy, it's gonna hit. We're about to have a direct hit. Oh! <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome back to Beam NG Drive. In today's episode, we're going to be doing something pretty awesome that I've wanted to do for quite a while, but I wasn't sure how to implement it, but I think I figured it out. So we're on the Grand Canyon map and we're going to be jumping various cars off the jump, which, you know, we've seen before, but we got a little bit of a twist uh, this time. So if we go over here, way off to the side of the ramp, we have the ME-262, excuse me, with uh, heat-seeking missiles. So, we're going to do a little, I guess it's pretty much skeet shooting. So, we're going to jump the cars off the jump and try to hit them in midair with the rockets. It should look pretty freaking cool. And if, uh, if you guys like this video and uh, get some attention, I'll probably do it part two. So, if you want to see more of this kind of thing on the channel, make sure to hit that like button down below anyway we got the plane locked and loaded we got the we got the thing that's basically there to stop us from rolling off the back of the road because this thing doesn't have a parking brake for whatever reason so it's pretty much uh i had to like jerry rig this thing basically but it works okay it works so our first victim is going to be this etk uh series here very expensive car i imagine and very fast as well but unfortunately it's going to meet its maker today. At least that's what I hope for. That's what I hope for. So get ready and come on, go faster, buddy. You can do it. You can do it and pull. There we go. All right. So car is in the air. We're locked on. Shoot the missile. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. what's left of it? Actually, doesn't look too bad. I mean, until it hits the side of the mountain and falls all the way down. <laughs> of course. But uh, besides that, that was a direct hit on the ETK series. That was that was actually really awesome. So let's move on to whoops. Let's move on to a different vehicle here. Uh, I need something pretty quick. So maybe like a oh maybe we should just go straight to like a rocket bus. Then we can actually have a big target to hit. So let's go with the hero, the superhero bus here. This should be uh, interesting. To say the least, this thing is going to be moving when it actually hits the end of the ramp here. So this should be, uh, this should be interesting. How fast are we going to get up to? Almost to 200 already. There we go. Push it, buddy. Push it, buddy. There we go. And pull. And let's fire a couple rockets this time. There we go. Oh, my God. So if we go here, we should see the rockets coming at us very, very fast. Oh, ho, ho. Oh my god, actually, do you think it gave us a little bit more speed there? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> and we are, we are flattened. <laughs> you know, it looked like it didn't actually do as much, has the, have these missiles been nerfed? Because back in the day when the ME-262 first came out, it would just completely obliterate vehicles uh, when you actually hit them. So I'm kind of curious. I, I almost want to see that hit in slow motion. So let's try that again here. There we go. And fire! Fox 1, Fox 2. There we go. And let's get back to slow motion. I want to see the every little detail here. Here they come. Here they come. Oh, there they go. And boom! Where'd the other one go? I have no idea, but that is a solid hit as it flies into the distance. Oh, the rockets still work? Yeah, the rockets still work. <laughs> but you know, it's a pretty big vehicle, so you know what, maybe it can just kind of, it can handle uh, taking a direct hit from a missile. But what about just a normal everyday car? So let's try a Burnside Drag. Uh, pretty fast vehicle here, but it's not reinforced with anything, so. Uh, I feel like this one's probably going to get pretty thoroughly destroyed. But let's just try anyway and uh, see what happens. This thing is incredibly fast. 172. What's, it's actually speeding up over the hill. So there we go. Um, can I switch vehicles? There we go. And Fox 1. 
Oh, buddy, it's gonna hit. We're about to have a direct hit. Oh! <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, that's what I was looking for right there. Just completely annihilated. Let's try that again in uh, slow motion this time. All right, get, get settled, buddy. There you go. Let's try that again in slow motion. I want to see this thing just get absolutely vaporized uh, in slow motion here. Pull! There we go. And shoot! It's away. I'll right, slow it down here. Where is it? There it is. Coming in hot. Coming in very hot. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That. That. Wow. Out of the park. Home run. Holy crap. We got some distance on that one. Jesus. That is pretty insane. Not gonna lie. That is absolutely crazy. That's got to be a record for this map as far as jumping the Grand Canyon. I think this car has broken a new record. Had a little bit of help from a heat-seeking missile, but I think it counts. That is a that is impressive. There's not much left of the uh, the old car here, uh, but it went the distance. That's for sure. This is so fun. I don't know why I haven't done this before. I, I really don't. I should have done this a long time ago, man. This is so cool. All right, so. Um, what do we want to try next? I got a lot of cars here. Um, let's see, maybe like an automation car. <gasps> maybe the 10K Dio Volante. Let's try it out. I gotta try the Dio. Oh man, it's a it's an automation car though, so you never know what's gonna happen with those. Alrighty, here we go. Hopefully we can actually keep this thing in a straight line. Okay, okay. So far so good. So far, so good. Yeah, this thing's easy to control. 215, 220. There we go. This thing's gonna fly, man. But not for long. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no! You know what? That's, uh... That's about what I expected, actually. <laughs> the back wings just fell off. Oh, man, that was interesting. We broke the physics almost immediately. So I, I, I'm, I'm going to take a wild guess here and say that automation cars are probably not the best fit uh, for hitting with heat seeking missiles, unfortunately. What about an FR-17, though? These are pretty quick. Like they're literally race cars. So this should be uh, interesting. And they're pretty small, so it's a very small target in the sky to hit. So we gotta be very precise. But, uh, let's see how it goes, and... Yup! And... Come on, switch vehicles. Sometimes it doesn't like to switch, especially after... Uh, physics crashes. Anyway, here we go. Uh-oh. That was gonna hit? I'm going down at a very high rate of speed. It looks like we are gonna make contact, though. Here we go, and... Oh! Actually, it didn't look like it was gonna hit at first, <laughs> but it did and just oh, oh, yeah There went the second one. It's that second missile that really kicks it into fly. Oh, wow. Oh Wow <laughs> Yikes How fast are we going right now? This is oh, this is making me kind of dizzy. Oh Let's make a whoa What the? <laughs> I was starting to get in and put into a trance there. Oh my good god. So the second if you if you're to hit them with the second missile, they're pretty much done for. They're very much done for. Let's try the uh, Kashira. Which one's like the fast one? Probably the Jado Rocket Edition. So we're gonna hit a minivan into orbit uh right now. So this should be uh this should be pretty good. Oh god. Yeah, that's quick. That's quick. Holy crap. Frames, okay, I need to go in slow motion for this because it's just so game-breaking. There we go. Tires already ripped to shreds. Um, come on, there we go. And shoot! Is the missile going to be able to keep up, though? Because that car is just absolutely flying right now. Let's see. Oh, it got it! Yes! 
I think it actually broke the rockets as well. <laughs> we <laughs> we are just absolutely flying in this episode, guys. I don't know how I haven't broken the game more, to be completely honest. The game should just be mush at this point. We're still going. Wow. That was a pretty good distance as well. Uh, not as far as the FR-17, but we did only hit it with one rocket. Uh, you gotta keep that in mind. Let's try, I guess we should probably go for a more normal vehicle now. Uh, so you know what, maybe like a, like a hill climb sunburst. That's normal, right? Here we go! Full speeded, ladies and gentlemen. This isn't the fastest car compared to uh, some stuff that we've already tried, but you know, it's still, it's a top notch, still my, basically my favorite car in the game. So I gotta blow it up. I gotta do it. Here we go. And pull! There we go. And boop. Bye! <laughs> yes! There it is. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. I, I actually kind of like seeing it from the view of the plane. It looks especially cool. I need to reset because I think we're all out of rockets. Uh, but let's try a big, big, big target again. So, do we have like a rocket bus? We have a drag ludicrous. Okay, that, that'll work. A drag bus. Big enough target, I would say. So, this should be, uh, this should be good. I might actually have to hit him with two on this one. Ball speed ahead with the drag bus. Here we go. <laughs> Can you go a little faster than that drag bus? Maybe. Maybe a little bit fast. Ah, it doesn't matter. We're still going to make it over the jump, so we're good. Here we go. And pull! And locked on and boom. Oh. <laughs> oh, I actually, I need to do that again because I wanted to hit it with two rockets. I forgot to pull the trigger again. My bad. Whoa, we're doing some wheelies. Uh oh. Control yourself, bus. There you go. Just wanted to bounce all over the place. Yeah, there we go. And one, two. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. It's going to hit it twice. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Didn't send it off into the, uh, into the ether on that one, but still pretty impressive. This thing is still thoroughly destroyed. So, you know what? I'm, uh, I'm happy with that. I'm happy. All righty. What should the grand finale be? I know what it's got to be, but I'm just not looking forward to it. We got to do the crash hard eight by eight. We're going to have to run this thing at like two frames per second, but it'll be worth it. The parts are going to go everywhere. It's going to be amazing. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Well, let's just get it off the ramp. I can't stand to look at these frames. All right. We, mean, we need to be ready to hit this thing right when it goes off the jump because it's not going to make it foot very far. Uh, into the canyon here, so we need to just go for it right now. There we go. And how about two, just for the heck of it? All right. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. There it is. This is gonna be a direct hit. Oh. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> not that bad. This thing is a freaking fortress on wheels, apparently. Until it until it hits the ground, but still. Pretty freaking impressive. Absolutely nothing left of it, but I think gravity did most of the uh, destroying on uh, on that one. Anyway, guys, this has been Skeet Shooting in BMG Drive with the ME262. Still an awesome, awesome mod. If you guys want to see a part two to this, let me know down below in the comments. And make sure to hit that like button, and I'll definitely make a uh, part two and leave any suggestions that you want me to shoot for things you want me to shoot out of the sky. And I definitely will. Maybe I'll do it on a live stream. I'm not sure. If you're not following me on Twitch, uh, Neological, I got a link down below because I'll probably be doing it on live stream. So don't want to, if you don't want to miss it, go ahead and give me a follow. But that's going to do it for this episode of BMG Drive. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. See ya.